Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you are watching this. And in today's episode, hopefully you can't hear any birds chirping because I've just been out there and played a hawk noise. So if the birds are pissing you off, go on YouTube and, look, and search for hawk, birds of prey and there's a hawk noise on there and it usually shuts them up. Not for long, but it shuts them up. Anyway, <laughs> today's episode is going to be two things, hopefully. We're going to fit the radiator and fit the gear linkage, or at least have a look at the gear linkage, but really get the radiator done and know where we're going with the gear linkage. So first of all, radiator. Listen, listen. Bet you always don't make that sound, does it? So uh, most of you will know this is an aluminium, uh, is it two, three core? Can't remember, uh, eBay jobby. Uh, for a mini, um, sideways mounted and I'm cheap and I want to try and use one of these because they're very cheap to replace and I actually quite like them, I think they're pretty cool. So that's my plan, so I'll bring you in and show you roughly where I think it's going to mount and what sort of um, what sort of brackets I'm going to be making for it. So I will apologise for the dodgy camera angles, um, I'm on my own in here uh, and I don't have a professional film crew. I know that might shock you because my videos are absolutely amazing, but there you go. Anyway, uh, brace bar, uh, radiator. So this is roughly where I think it's going to fit. So um, I've, I've lifted it up to a, a slight bit as well. Uh, I've put a block underneath it. And I've already started making some brackets. So these are what I've made already. So these two are what I've made already. And as you can see, they are classic mini exhaust rubbers. So these are going to go on either side, bolted on, and then we need to make some brackets off of off of that. So what I'll do is we'll quickly get these bolted onto there, bring you back, and then we'll look at oh there we go, bring you back, and then we'll look at how we're going to get a uh, bracket onto there. So the idea is is to use these these exhaust rubbers here, uh, as sort of like uh, a bit of flex for it. <clears throat> so after much to and fro in and uh, cardboard aided design, I've come up with this. So what this does is it picks up off that there. I don't know if that's original or not, but it's on my shelf for some reason. Picks up off there and then picks up onto there. So what I'll do is I'll quickly bolt that on, and I'll show you how that side works. So there we go, it's not the prettiest thing in the world. Like I say, it picks up off an original bolt hole there uh, and then bolts down to there. There uh, is enough space once it's uh, straight that it's not going to hit anything. It looks like it's close to the subframe there, but it's actually not. I don't know if you can see there. It's actually quite far away. So that's one side done. So now it's time for this side. Now, as you can see, I've pre-drilled a hole here because I think I know what I'm going to do with this sort with this bracket up here. So I want something to go from here to here. Now I could just build up a straight and a cross, but that's a bit boring. So I'll show you what I have come up with. So as you can see, what I need to do is get from there up to there. Now, but it needs to be roughly about there with the block in place so it's nowhere near the gearbox it's nowhere near the subframe nowhere near the brace bar on this side so this is what i've come up with okay with this so what it is it bolts into the bolts into here and it's twisted to latch on now i think that's pretty cool i could have just gone up and across but for now i actually like this uh I put it in a vise and kept turning it and turning it and turning it so i'll show you how it works and get that in there and then that 
onto there. Um, let me and so on. And on a washer underneath there. Now, that's all bolted in, but it does move a bit more than what I wanted it to. So I think another rubber on that side, on the uh, on the other side. Let me take you out of the tripod. So now that's all about mounted into place. You can see the mount there. You can see the space under there. You can see this mount, and like I say, it goes through there. But the only issue is. As you can see, <laughs> that's a bit too much flex that. Um, yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to counteract that. What I might do is bolt it through here um, to stop that flex. Uh, I think I think that will help. Uh, but if anybody's got any ideas on that, uh, I thought the rubbers were a pretty good idea because all radiators mounting cars seem to be on rubbers and they seem to be mounted to the shell, not to the engine. Um, with the movement forwards and backwards. Obviously the pipe work is gonna is gonna have I wanted it to flex a tiny bit, maybe like that much, but <laughs> that might be a bit too much. But for now it, it's in a position I can then work out the rest from there. Like I say that twist there actually quite like that. I think that's quite nice. And then there's that down the back there and I think it works and then I can either fit a fan this side or I can fit a fan this side not sure yet but that's the radiator complete or oh, 90% there shall we say 90% there right then so if anybody has got a, a suggestion on how to make that a lot less wobbly uh, great so now it's time to look at gear linkage so this is a standard length uh, Nissan Micra gear linkage setup so you've got like your, um, they bolt together, uh, that bolts to then the gearbox, yep, the gearbox, and that bolts to the actual um, selector uh, to change the gears. So, they're standard length. When I bought the subframe and engine, uh, those who have been watching for a while may remember that they came with some cut down uh, gear linkage, which is great. Uh, the welding is, really really poor on them uh, really not happy with the welding so the plan is to cut and re-weld them anyway uh, or to grind them welds back and, and weld them again um, so yeah so this is a cut down version uh, I have taken this it didn't come with any of this so I have taken the selector off of the other setup uh, the actual gear stick sorry um, and the fulcrum and everything so hopefully that will this will fit, that's that's the plan. It should go somewhere near and then we can we can have a look. So what I'm gonna do, it's gonna be difficult to film, um, obviously underneath and inside the car, but I will do my best uh, to show you what's going on. So we're gonna try and fit this to the car. All right, you'll have to bear with me because I'm currently under the minute trying to film this. So that's the sort of like stabilizer bar. Uh, that needs a bit of work because if you see the blue mount coming down that's slightly catching so if i could space it out that's not too much of a problem that's the selector now the gearbox is currently in neutral so this uh then comes back comes back all the way to here and this is where we're having the problem so if you look at you see that bolt there that's representative of two holes that are already in the shell i'll go to the top side in a second and show you that um, and they should be lining up with the marks on the back there uh, but obviously they're not so uh, whoever cut this is blind um, and, and welded it uh, you know it's it's not right it needs it needs more taking out so what I'll do is I'll go to the inside of the car and you can have a look from that side so you'll have to bear with me but this these are where the holes are originally for the original shifter and I want to try and utilize them if I can so there's two there as you can see uh, and this it should be I think should be round about there so I reckon it's going to need oh, I don't know basically it's probably going to need about an inch or so off of it obviously I'll, I'll be taking accurate measurements but it's going to it's going to need 
it's just sort of like that much chopping out of it. Um, I'll show you on the bench what I plan on using to mount it up with. So these are what I'm planning on using to mount it up with. Now these are original, um, well, brand new, but these are what um, usually would hold the gear selector up in a mini anyway. I think they're quite good. Again, they've got the rubber element to them. So I've taken this off of the Micra. Uh, again, this was the one that someone's made. Uh, again, they've just done a, a crap job of everything really. But rather than them, obviously, you know, I can do a better job than that, but that will, obviously I think they're gonna be UNF, aren't they? And that's probably gonna be metric. But anyway, they'll go through like that and that's how it'll look. And then these two will stick out from the, uh, from the top um, in the cab. I think that's probably the best way to do it. Uh, I mean, that's even bent, look. That plate, it's even bent. So yeah, I think that's the best way to do it. I'm, I'm a bit gutted that they don't fit. Uh, I expect them to be a bit closer than they were. I didn't expect, you know, absolute miracles. I didn't expect them to fit right off the bat, but still, you know, certainly better than what they were, what, what they are. So then obviously what we'll have to do is I'll have to cut a piece out, a cut, cut section out. Probably It's probably gonna be about an inch, an inch and a half or something like that. Whatever that goes to millimeters. Um, and then we can take it from there So I hope that was <laughs> As good as I could do, do really because obviously I'm under the car. I'm on my own doing this um, It is pretty difficult. So I was holding it up with an axle stand there to try and get the the rough thing and like I say I think it, it, Obviously, I'll take accurate measurements and I'll film all that and we'll cut it and re-weld it not too bad because it means I can get rid of them bad welds anyway because I'll just cut uh, obviously the length of either side of them um, and then hopefully that that's more or less the my side of the conversion done obviously inlet exhaust and drive shafts they're gonna have to be specially made I think um, my welding's not that good uh, and I prefer them to be TIG welded and make sure they're right so yeah they're all coming up in a future video uh, but thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed that um, Let's say we, we are, I am moving on, uh, it's just sometimes progress is a bit slow, but I have got other things going on as well, so we'll, uh, we'll keep going. Thanks for watching guys.